Okay, so today we got a kitchen table at home gunsmithing video. This is the Ruger American. We're going to be doing a trigger spring on it. This guy, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's a great little setup he has. He's for all kinds of different rifles. Uh, he's on eBay. I don't know if he has Amazon or what. I just happen to use eBay. But all it is is one spring and a couple washers because on the Ruger American, there's a little bit of uh, side to side play. So. Comes with one spring, comes with really good instructions. It even has a link to his videos that he does for how to install it if you need to. But the Ruger American is very simple, and this was uh, 10 bucks. So it says it's from uh, three, it's, I think this is about three and a half pounds, uh, and it should knock it down to a pound and a half to two pound. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's check it first. And I right, got the bolt out here, but. Okay, so we are empty, and the factory trigger is air. <laughs> I swear to God, can't ha can't ever have anything, man. Alrighty, so it was about three and a half there. So yeah, and then while we're here, I wanted to. Ghost the 500 mag. So this thing has a really nice trigger. Wait, did I unload this? Oh man, that was about three and a half too on single action. Actually, I knew it was unloaded, but I was second guess. I was like, man, I was counting my bullets over. There. I was like, it is unloaded, right? <laughs> But I really want to build a 500 mag rifle because, I mean, look, it fits in there. I mean, perfect. But the only thing with the Bushmasters is they're kind of chamber for the AR-15. So they have a small, like if the rim was as big as the casing, you could bore out your bolt face to fit the 500 mag. And just swap out a barrel but uh since the bolts that small it won't work so i gotta figure out a, a different plan because i was gonna buy another one just to do that i know there's companies that make them but i kind of wanted to build my own so if anybody has any ideas let me know so we'll get started here let me get set up and we'll get right back to it okay so first we're gonna flip the gun over i'm gonna make sure you're your bolts out if you don't know how it's a little button there i'm sure you guys know all that stuff and then flip her over this is a 5 30 seconds uh, allen here and it's literally all that holds the the gun to the stock so i, I kind of hate new guns but i kind of do like them because they make them cheap so it's kind of easy to to take apart here Okay, now that I got the two bolts out, just a little piece of plastic here comes with it. And then it literally just pops right off here. So, that's all it is. And what we're gonna be taking out, which I noticed I had this part earlier, there should be like an E-clip. We're gonna be taking this out. There should be like an E-clip on here, it's missing. So I have, a, a kit in the garage I'm gonna have to do that so literally since this don't have an e-clip normally you would just pry it off with uh, like a screwdriver here so pull the pin out and then we just gotta pull the whole spring assembly out here and if you ever want to get rid of this little they called accu trigger I'm kind of I'm gonna see how the trigger feels. I might get rid of it, cause I don't really, they're kind of nice, but I kind of want to get rid of that. So you can literally just pull these pins out, take that spring out and that'll come out. We'll see. Okay, next, if hopefully the camera focuses, we're gonna flip this over and that screw there, we're gonna take it out. It is a 564. And just keep, it's kind of flush with the, the whole unit here. 
the housing it has a little bit of like wax or Loctite on it or something there. So we're going to pull that out and then that releases the spring in there and it just pops right out. And then we're going to put the new one back in and just thread it in the same way and it's that simple. So let me get that spring out and I'll show you the difference here because I can already see the difference in it. All right, focus, focus. Please like, share, subscribe so I can afford to get a new phone it's for a camera. So here's on uh, this side, it's the factory one. Pretty tight, this one, it's still pretty tight, but definitely a lot better. So we're gonna put this in there. All right, so there it is, I got it back in. I gotta go out to the garage and get a clip for there. But the shims he provides are real thin. They just kind of fit in right in between here. And you just put your pin through there and there wasn't much play, the whole trigger house is a little loose there, but it definitely uh, definitely helped. So I'm gonna put the stock back on the same way. Like I said, to get that spring in, you just gotta kinda, when this is out, just kinda put it down. There's a, there's a hole right through here. Uh, you, you'll see it when you take it out and it just falls right into place there. Yeah, so I just tried this. It wasn't, that was just, it is so, so touchy, I love it. <laughs> you literally just breathe on that trigger she goes off I'm trying to do it easy because it it's kind of hard I don't really like this scale because because if you keep pulling you know it just keeps going up there yeah <laughs> so it's about a pound and a half and I can't oh, I'm telling you man that is amazing that is so cool so if you have a Ruger American for 10 bucks, man, I think it's just so light. Let's see if you guys can, I mean, you, a suit camera. I, you just, it's amazing for 10 bucks. So if you have a Ruger American, I'll put a link in the description, buy that. Literally five, 10 minutes, man. If that, you, you, do, you do it in under five minutes. <laughs>